So, hello and welcome to the next day of our Scotland um, adventure here with our school class. Uh, today we're going to visit five, um, uh, to be honest, uh, to be honest, there'll be three to four different uh, villages we're going to. Um, first one will be Anstrada, then Kingsbarn and then St. Andrews. And uh, on our way home we'll pass through Perth as well. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to film today because nothing is really train or engineering theme to, to be honest but uh, we'll just see the country will probably look nice and yeah we'll just wait for the bus now so the first stop of the day are the three bridges here at the Rio Fort. Uh, first one to open was the railway bridge just over there, um, which is a class called the railway bridge across the Rio Fort. Next was the fourth road bridge, uh, which was opened in the mid 20th century. And the new edition, and it's not that old actually, is the Queen's Ferry Road Bridge. Now all three of them lead to the other side of the Rio Fort and into uh, Fives. louder because the wind is well quite strong actually as you can see we're at the seaside we're in Enstrada our next stop on our way um, uh, we're gonna visit the King's Barn and St Andrews um, as well today and yeah uh, on the way here we've seen a lot of beautiful countryside um, so far we've only been in big towns like Glasgow and Edinburgh and I have to say if you're from Scotland England Wales just basically the entirety of the UK you can be so lucky with such a gorgeous and beautiful countryside, it's amazing. I mean, I'm Austrian and we also have the Alps and in general a pretty nice countryside, but yours is just, it's, it's breathtaking, I, I, I love it. And also, yeah, the, the, all the villages on the, on the coast, like we're on the east coast currently, they're, they're just charming, just take a look at them, please. They're, they're amazing. We are going to travel uh, further north now along the coast and yeah, we'll show you some footage of going there as well. So hello and welcome back to our next stop. Um, we are currently here in St. Andrews as you can see um, on the beach or the beach is back there but who cares. Uh, it's a bit rough here um, but you can see uh, all, the, all the nice nice buildings from the town so yeah really nice spot. It's quite quite nice here actually um, but a bit, um, a bit complicated to traverse the, the terrain here but so far it's fine. So, as, we, as you can see, we have now moved into the city centre uh, of uh, St. Andrews and we are here on the uh, well, basically main road, to be honest. Um, lots of shops here um, and yeah, just what you would expect from a classic Scottish town. Um, and it's quite nice to experience this uh, once in a while. Um, well, once in a while, it's my first time here, but I'm already looking forward to coming back here. Um, because it's just, it's, it's lovely, it's like out of, out of a movie. So, yeah. It's just nice. So just a short walk away from the main uh, shopping mall, if you would call it uh, something like that, we have St. Andrew's Cathedral and we're going to have a closer look right now. So behind me you can now see the remains of St. Andrew's Cathedral. Now the cathedral was destroyed in the war between the Catholics and the Protestants, um, obviously um, took place in the well, medieval ages, so not that long, um, quite long ago actually, that uh, this has been destroyed for. And what remains are the ruins, and um, yeah, but to be honest, I would have liked to see it complete. I mean, it would be a nice building, I think. It uh, looks great. Yeah. 
So uh, what you can now see behind me as we uh, come, uh, come back around, we've basically well, walked a small circle around the town. As we now come back to the beach, we can see the remains of St. Andrew's Castle. Uh, obviously the cathedral was a, a religious building. This was obviously for living or defense, to be honest. I don't know that much about it, but yeah, it's, well, it looks quite impressive. So now our tour of uh, St. Andrews is almost over, but we have one thing left. Now, I'm not a sports person, as you might have uh, could already tell, I'm <laughs> not very fit. But we are now here at uh, a, golf, a golf course, which is called the Old Course. Now, I don't know much about golf, but what I know is that this is something like a sp special place um, for, for the world of golf, and we're just going to take a walk on it. Well, it's a golf course. For someone like me who doesn't know anything about golf, pretty boring. Um, but if you find this interesting, then good for you. of the day we are here in Dundee we just crossed the table bridge and behind me you can see another ship uh, the discovery uh, so yesterday we were in Glasgow at the Riverside Museum uh, and they already told you that I don't know a lot about ships but this ship went to the Antarctic with some Scottish explorers um, so yeah the ship no.